In 2017, I embarked on an epic quest to see if it was possible to find vintage keyboards here in Seattle, Washington. At the time, I found that your typical thrift stores were devoid of any such treasures. In fact, the only way to find anything was to go to an electronics recycling center. But even that didn't have too many keyboards. Since that video was released, the keyboard community has grown. We have more vendors, more switches, more keycaps, larger group buys, and even higher demand. In fact, the Seattle keyboard scene has had more than four meetups with the last being well over 300 attendees. I'm curious, what are our chances now? Hello guys and welcome to the Mac Merlin Vintage Keyboard Hunting 2020 edition. And yeah, I know it's been three years since I did this, but hopefully I'll find something good this time around. I'm, I'm not too confident, but we'll see, we'll see. I learned that thrift stores aren't the best place to do this at, so we're gonna try and specifically hit electronics recycling centers. First up is Better PC Recycle, located in Lakewood, Washington. Better PC Recycle is a 7,000 square foot warehouse full of electronic recyclables. I've seen old computers, soundboards, typewriters, and a whole bunch of cables here. This is probably gonna be the smaller of the three electronics recyclers that we visit today. I actually stop here every time I drive down to Portland. Um, it's a cool place to stop just because there's a bunch of coffee shops around here and you just never know what you'll find in there. Anyway, let's go inside. I guess they also have quite a few collectible Funko Pop figurines. Did you know that Funko Pop is actually located here in Washington State? Like I said, lots of random electronics including old oscilloscopes. I apologize, but my camera work here isn't the greatest. Like, I'm using this guy right here. This is a Sony RX100 Mark III that I got quite a few years ago. So yeah, um, I normally use it as a photo taking camera. This is the first time I'm actually using it for video. Look what I found here. It's a random case with the label prom pr Promethine. Lighting the flame of learning. Interesting. Yeah, I'm reading it upside down so it's hard to read. But what the heck is all this? Interesting. I guess if you're looking for instruments, this is the place to go too. What the heck? Don't even know what this instrument is called. Maybe like a bassoon, tuba. So I looked this up when I got home and honestly, I still don't know what it is. The closest guess I could do is maybe a bass French horn of sorts. Anyway, let me know down in the comment section down below if you know what it is. Okay, so even though I did find two vintage-like keyboards, they were unfortunately not mechanical. I looked through a bunch of them and they were mostly just Dells really old Dell quiet keys and those two boards that I just found. Um, everything else was, you know, it's random electronic junk and as you guys saw, those strange instruments. Next up is VPC in Tukwila, Washington. Just a few minutes from the SeaTac International Airport. This store was opened up in 1998 as a branch of the Seattle location. This place was actually featured in the very first video, but since then it's moved like think like three or four blocks down. The warehouse is a little bit smaller than the original location, but let's hope that there's still good stuff in there. Let's go check it out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You've got some random electronic equipment, bunch of cables here, and a whole bunch of networking gear. While it looks like we actually have bins of what looks to be mechanical keyboards, let's take a closer look. I have been deceived. These are just rubber domes. So I actually did find some. There we go. Look at that. That is a Knessus Freestyle ergonomic keyboard. I believe these are Cherry MX Browns retailing for about 25 bucks. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. Then you've got this guy right here. Definitely mechanical, but nothing that we are familiar with. All right, so just like the one in Seattle, they've got a mini museum here where 
They're actually mechanical keyboards. Check it out. We've got an Atari 800XL. Vintage Mac on up top there. IBM keyboard here on the bottom. We've got a Radio Shack one up there too. A Radio Shack TRS-80. And of course to the left here, they've got some vintage hard drives. Check that out. I'm betting that your typical QMK powered board has more memory than both of these combined. Yeah, that was really disappointing. I feel like every time I've been there in the past, I've found at least three that were fairly decent. Like Y sports were the most popular. I'd, I'd even see maybe like a couple Alps boards, but yeah, just, just one Kinesis board. That's, man, things aren't looking good today, huh? Anyway, one thing about this place is not only is it close to the airport, it's also close to one of the largest malls here in Washington, South Center Mall. I mention that because I'm actually quite hungry. I haven't had any breakfast today. All I've had is really just this tea that I'm drinking and it's already almost lunchtime. So let's go check it out. There is a particular store there that I would love to eat at. So what that restaurant was, was actually Jollibee. But as you guys can see, it's kind of under renovation right now. So can't really eat there. So I actually ended up going to Chow King instead just because Jollibee was closed and Chow King was the next best thing. Yeah, here we go. I got some Tocino. The Tocino breakfast special, actually. Here we go. Check that out, check that out right there. Tocino means bacon in Spanish. In the Philippines, it's basically a mashup of Chinese pork barbecue and Western bacon, all put together. And this results in a slightly sweet yet savory delicacy, like just editing this video right now, I'm wanting some Tocino. <laughs> Delicious. All right, so so far we've gone into two different stores and only have found one keyboard. It's not even really a nice vintage keyboard. It's one of the more newer Kinesis type boards. I think it's because the community has grown in the last three years, like especially here in Seattle. Each of our meetups have grown by like 50, 100 each time. Our last count was around, if I'm not mistaken, it was close to 400. But yeah, with that many keyboard enthusiasts here in Seattle, it's no wonder that people are just going to all these places and probably getting there before me, getting all the good stuff. I'm starting to think that the time for vintage hunting has long passed. VPCCL was opened up in 1994 and is located in the Soto district close to the stadiums. Like the other places we visited, they provide recycling and repair services along with selling a few of their items in store. This is actually my favorite location simply because back in college when I couldn't afford cables or thumb drives or even hard drives, this is the place I would go to to pick those up for dirt cheap. And ever since I got into the mechanical keyboard hobby, I've pretty much found, I'd say 80 to 90% of all my vintage finds here. So, of course, one of the first things that we need to visit is the computer museum that they have here. The Living Computer Museum, where a lot of our winter meetups were held, is now closed. So, unfortunately, this, this might be the largest computer museum in Seattle, Washington. I know we talked about a lot of these boards in our previous video, but let me just point out some of the boards that I really like. First one is this guy right here, the Amiga 1000. Check it out. I believe this board has vintage MX blacks. Yep, these are blacks. Kind of really scratchy blacks, unfortunately. And then, of course, you've got the Apple M0110 right there. The venerable Apple Lisa. Check it out. And, of course, you've got quite a few others. You've got your Tandy color computer, Commodore 64. Commodore VIC-20, Atari 800, the Apple II. I actually had an Apple II growing up. Um, someone donated it to my family when they heard that we needed a computer. Don't remember what happened to it, but I think a working edition of these can cost several thousand, if I'm not mistaken. There's the TRS-80, Commodore Super Pet, Teacher's Pet, very cool, very cool. Xerox Sunrise, 
believe these are Alps SKCL Browns. You've got the Hyperion again. These are blacks as well. <laughs> yeah, these are the Epson boards. I've been curious. Those look like DSA profile. Shouldn't take too long to actually design a key set that matches it. Who knows, who knows? Yeah, there's a Tandy 102, an Olivetti, oh my gosh, and an NEC PC 8201A. So yeah, because this is a museum, none of this is for sale. This is all for everyone to look at, all of the Seattle tourists to come in and enjoy. But this whole episode is about finding vintage mechanical keyboards that you can buy. So let's check out what they have in store. And now we are back in their large collection of keyboards. I can already see that a majority of them are rubber domes, but one can hope, right? Let's go sort through them. Usually the ones on top are the more modern ones. Oh, look, I see a mechanical keyboard right here. These are the ML switches. I know I bought one last time, so I'm not gonna buy another one. Oh, look, it's another Knesset's Freestyle, great. Check it out, because these are really popular. Yep, none of those are mechanical. Let's, let's go put it all back. All right, what's in this bin? Hmm, just trash. Okay, what is in here? Yeah, it's not. Nothing here, actually. All right, so I'm at the front of their store, and I think these are the more expensive keyboards that they have. I think, actually no. That's wrong, it's $10 right there, 20 bucks right there. But we do have one of these guys, Apple Extended Keyboard. And it's tested working for 60 bucks. Oh man, that's, that's fairly pricey. I kind of want it just because the Lunar 2 is coming out from IO3. I'm not sure if I have any more key sets available. Mm, 60 bucks. We'll see, we'll see. These are a bunch of old Apple keyboards, and there's a good chance that they're mechanical. Like this one in particular definitely is not. This is the rubber dome variant. Some of these might be. Not so sure. But check this guy out. This one. This one right here. This is the Apple ADB. M0116. Check it out. Come on, focus, little camera. Yeah, I might actually want this guy. This guy's pretty cool. What else is in here? What's this? A Super Mac ADB keyboard? Okay, might not want that. I guess Super Mac ADB keyboard. Apple Design keyboard. Yep, that's another knockoff. And what's this one? Macaulay ADB keyboard. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Apple Extended Keyboard 2. There we go. Probably do this one too. This one's for 40 bucks. 20 bucks cheaper than the, than the one that they had in front of the store. Ooh, um... I think I want it, guys. I think I actually want it. I can easily clean this up. All right, that was really productive. Just like the last video, VPC Seattle seems to be the place to go if you want vintage keyboards. Like what, I think we found six there. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm not sure if I want to go somewhere else anymore. <laughs> out of the two boards that I picked out, I think I'm gonna stick with the AEK2, primarily because I want to use the keycaps and the shell for some upcoming AEK2 related projects in the community. At this point, I'm not sure if I want to go anywhere else, but there's always that hope that I'll find something better. So let's go check out Bellevue, Washington for this Goodwill. Last but not the least, Goodwill in Redmond, Washington. Merlin, you said you weren't gonna do any thrift stores. Why are you doing this one? Mainly because it's located right next to the Microsoft campus. So I'm assuming that most people around here, well, it's a very big assumption, but I'm assuming 
Most people around here will be fairly tech savvy and as a result, will have tech related junk. So let's go check this place out. I don't know, maybe let's go somewhere else. Maybe let's just go to one more place so I can have a good ending to this video. This is Computer Surplus. And honestly, the only reason I know about it is because it's next to an animal adoption place. And I used to come here to look at all their kittens back in the day. So this is kind of different than the other places that we visited. All of the PC recycle stuff was mainly a recycling center with repair services. This one seems to be more of a repair service with some recycling services added on. So let's see what we got. That's a really deep bin. I, I don't think I want to dig through that. Ooh, vintage hardware. Hmm. Well, that was quite the adventure, and honestly, we didn't get any different results than the video I shot three years ago. The best place for vintage keyboard hunting here in Seattle, Washington is still Seattle RePC. Admittedly, this time around, we only focused on electronics recycling stores and mainly avoided all those thrift stores that we visited before. However, this isn't to say that going to a thrift store is bad. Like, you could find mechanical keyboards and in some cases you could be super lucky and end up with something like this. Yeah, that's not photoshopped at all. That's an actual Reddit post. I'll post the link down in the description section for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I promise I won't take another three years to make another one. But if you guys have found any cool keyboard stuff at, at either like an e-recycle place or a thrift store, make sure you jot that down below. I'd be curious to know what you found. Until then, hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye now.